Being a doctor can involve treating patients in all kinds of places. Including 30,000 feet into the air. Hi, I'm Andy Kilcross. I'm a doctor with the Royal Flying Doctor Service and I'm here to show you what I do. The Royal Flying Doctor Service provides health services to people in rural and remote Australia who are a long way from facilities like hospitals and clinics. We operate across the whole of Australia, working out of 21 bases and using a fleet of 61 planes and we help hundreds of thousands of people every year. I work here at the Port Augusta base and together with two other bases we look after the whole of South Australia and the lower half of the Northern Territory. Phone and high frequency radio calls come in from sick or injured people in this region and our operators record details about each caller's medical condition and location. They assess how urgently the patient needs help and decide what kind of help they need. Sometimes patients just need advice from a doctor over the phone. But other times they need hands-on help and so a nurse or a doctor like me will jump in a plane and go and provide it. Our planes are equipped with all the medical equipment needed to provide patients with intensive care. We have devices for monitoring patients' vital signs, drips, oxygen and lots of medicines. We carry two stretchers and a fully automated stretcher loading system and, in the cockpit, a range of radios and a satellite phone so we can keep in touch with our base. Our fixed-wing single-engine planes can fly relatively long distances without needing to refuel. Their cockpits are arranged so they can be controlled by a single pilot in all weather conditions. And their heavy-duty suspension makes them great at landing on grass, dirt airstrips and bitumen roads. When we meet a patient, the first thing we do is provide any immediate treatment that they need. For example, if a patient has a broken arm, I apply a sling so the limb will be supported during the flight. Then, after making sure the patient is stable, we load them onto the plane. We take the patient to the nearest hospital that can provide them with the treatment that they need. And although flying doctors like me help out in evacuations like this one, we do other kinds of work too. We assist people who need transporting from a small hospital to a big one. We fly to isolated places to give the people their checkups or immunisations, and we do remote consultations over the phone. We flying doctors need to deal with a wide range of medical situations, so as a team we've got to be experienced and qualified in a range of skills, including delivering babies, giving anaesthetics and providing emergency support. So that's a sneak peek of what the flying doctor service does, and now it's probably time that I got on with my job.